Hi, this is Lori. This is Lori's RV Life. And I've been doing a few... Th yeah, I'm winded. Um, I've been doing a few things today. Um, and then I got to thinking I really should bring you guys along and show you what I've been doing. So, I stopped what I was doing and I'm going to back up and bring you along. Okay, so... I have this pad and it's super thick, super squishy. My sister gave it to me, but it was too big for this bed. So I got my scissors and the pin and I marked it off and I cut it to size to this Fleetwood mat mattress. Fleet to the size of this Fleetwood mattress, which is smaller than a regular queen, but bigger than a full size mattress. So I've got it cut down. It came with a cover on it. So right now I'm in the house in the process of cutting that down and redoing the zipper and whatnot. So let me show you. I This was what was on the bed. And it's this, I think they call it an egg crate, was on the bed. And it was pretty much useless. This is what I cut off of the bed, foot and side. Um, I'm thinking I might you keep these and use them for maybe <clears throat> a pillow, like a love seat. No, not a love seat. What's it called? A day bed pillow across here, but I haven't really decided. Yeah. Okay, so I'm in the house. A little bit dark, but anyway, this was the cover that was on that piece that was out in the motorhome that I already showed you. And it's got a zipper that goes across here, down this way, and across this way. So I cut it across here. I still have use of the zipper to take this on and off to wash it if needed. But you can see I just a little cut and it's a good cover for it because it's nice and squishy too so what I'm gonna do well let me take you back here and to my room sewing room and show you what I got going on okay so back here this this is the part that I cut off of that piece that I just showed you and yes I've got my little friend the seam ripper so instead of sewing the edges together on the one that's out in the living room. I am going to use my seam ripper and go down this whole row here and take off this edge because it's it's um, so that you can have the square edge. See how it's got a seam there and it'll go along, nicely along the edge of that mattress pad. So I'm going to use my seam ripper and I'm going to go all the way down, take it all off and then sew it on to, um, let me get up, this floor is hard. Anyway, so I will sew that edge that I'm getting ready to cut off onto the edge of the one in the living room so it all still fits nice and snug. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, I still haven't decided if I want to um, paint the inside of the rig or just put it together, load it up, so that after Christmas I can take off and go if I so decide. I don't know. I don't know what to do. But I know I'm getting the itch to go. <clears throat> Worried about the bad weather. I don't know. We'll see. So, I'm back here to do some more seam ripping. And I figure if I've got to endure this, so do you. So I'm going to let you watch. Big, big thrill. Um, so, yeah, my mom had cataract surgery. So I stayed with her for a day and a night. I took her back for her consultation afterwards or post-op follow-up. That's what it was. Anyway, it all went well. She's doing fine. She freaked out quite a bit um, during, before and during the procedure. Her blood pressure was 200 and something over 190, I don't know, it was crazy. But, you know, I'm a lot like her. Um, 
let my mind get the best of me most of the time, and I spaz out, so, but she's fine, you know, um, got it done, she swears she will not have the other one done, which is bad as she freaked out over it, I can't say I blame her, anyway, um, so yeah, I've just been not doing a whole lot with the RV, because you know, I went through some real bad times with it, getting from Yakima to California, and um, couldn't decide if I wanted to keep it or if I wanted to sell it and get a C-Class, you know, something 21 feet-ish. I don't know. I think smaller would be better as far as my fear. I gotta keep working while I'm talking. Um, as far as my fear, but you know, I plan, and I know there's people that live in class C's and keep working. Um, they live in class C's and they do just fine space-wise. Um, I know I don't have and doubt highly if I will have a pet, cat, dog, or maybe a fish, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I really don't see that happening, um, so as far as needing space for another critter or another person, no, don't need it, what did I say, yeah, critter or another person, yeah, don't, don't think I'm going to need extra space for that, however, um, I do quilt, I do, um, and, you know, that's a lot of vegetables and meat, if I put meat in it, um, and then there's, of course, you're going to have your, your stock, your chicken stock, or your beef stock, you're going to have your meat, you're going to have your vegetables, that's a lot of product to keep in your refrigerator or on your shelves versus, you know, three or four little pint jars that's ready to go. You don't have to cook it much, not like you do when you first start out making soup. So I think panning on the road is going to be a huge, huge plus for me. Um, and I've got plenty of storage outside of the RV for my, my pressure cooker. Um, and when you do meet certain foods, um, they do have to be pressure cooked. Which for me is no big deal. I got plenty of room outside in the, in one storage bin. I can put all my canning stuff. Um, I can pick up jars anywhere, so I don't think I will travel with jars. But you never know. Um, oh, I gotta keep working. Um, so yeah, canning on the road is a definite I'm gonna do type of thing. And then I've also got you know that outdoor um, propane stove top. It has two burners on it. Um, so I will probably more than likely only do my, my canning, my processing outside. Um, even in the winter, you know, I'll, I'll do it out there just to keep the moisture from the steam from affecting the inside of the RV because I don't want that to happen. But yeah, I've got plenty of space for all that. And then because of my sewing, I have, let's see, I have a serger, I have a Singer sewing machine, and I have a Husqvarna sewing machine. And then of course with all that comes the cords, um, the seam ripper, scissors, the rotary blade, the cutting mat, you know, there's a lot that goes into um, sewing, making quilts, and um, again, I have a compartment underneath my rig, you know, the outside storage that will accommodate all of that stuff. What I'll do is I'll just put my sewing machines in, um, I think they're called like milk crates, they're I don't know, like that, and my machines will fit down in there so that they don't get damaged. Or I could put, you know, I could put them underneath the seats at the table inside. Maybe that's what I'll do, especially with my Husqvarna. Well, maybe all of them so they don't rust, but the Husqvarna is um, computerized, 
So those can go inside all of cutting mats and the rotary blades and the measuring tape, pins, all that kind of stuff. I can put in <clears throat> one of the cubbies outside. A lot of space for another person or a pet, no, don't need it. But the extra space when I'm canning or sewing or quilting um, will definitely be a plus because let me tell you, when you're doing that, you need space, and I would go nuts in a tiny little, I'm claustrophobic, so I would go nuts. So anyway, um, yeah, so I'm just going to keep picking here, and I'll just let you watch if you want. I'll speed it up during the video, though. Or I could turn it off and come back later. I think that's what I'll do. Be back. Okay, so I got it all pinned on the one side, and I will take it in, put it on the sewing machine, and get the one side sewn up. So let's go. Okay, here we go. I can get up here. It's really no fun being five foot three. Okay, well, I'm gonna try and put it on. I know this is gonna be a grunt. I probably should do it now, <coughs> but this green mat or whatever it is, whatever color, it is heavy. such a goofy cat. Hi, Kitty. Hi, Kitty. You gonna help make it, huh? Yeah, I bet you're gonna be a real big help. There. Bye-bye. Thank you. Right, you're gonna have to be damn, Mr. Man. Pretty happy with that. It could fit a little tighter, but it's not something I cannot live with. So I'm going to leave it that way. Sheets are in the um, washing machine, or actually they're in the dryer. It's my super crappy me. Okay, so there it is. Finished product. Whew, that was a grunt. Oh, yeah, looky here. Did you make yourself at home, Eddie Bitty? Huh? Did you make Did you make yourself at home? Oh, Mr. Kitty. Oh, Mr. Kitty. Here's something else, Eddie Bitty. Anyway, yeah, that was a grunt. Um, I'm really glad that's not something I've got to do weekly. But, Kitty, it is super, super soft. And, uh, oh, you want some dog. Anyway, so I'm glad I got it on there. Finally got it done. Now my next uh, thing to tackle is going to be the curtains and the coverings. Like that is just falling apart. So I've got the um, curtains in the sewing room. Okay, Mr. Kitty, come on.
itty bitty, come on. So yeah, I've got the curtains in the sewing room to make. I just have to come up with some material that I like. Um, I've been toying with a few ideas, but nothing is decided or planned as of yet. So, okay, I'm going back in the house. Maybe strip off these sweatpants, because now, well, this morning I was freezing, and now that I've been fighting with that thing, um, I'm warm. Good boy, Biddy. All right. Bye, Bye. Abby. I will. Work on some other projects today. I've got, <clears throat> oh, I was going to show you. Um, hang on. Let me get in the house and I'll bring you right back. Okay, so this is the quilt that I'm working on. Well, a blanket that I'm going to work on for my nephew. Um, yes, Grand Royal Bag. He's been collecting them for me. And I'm going to cut all these out like this and make squares out of all these. And, uh, Anyway, make squares or strips. I haven't decided out of this other material. Get it sewn together and then put it back on it and call it Spencer's Blanket. Anyway, then I've got um, another blanket here. It's a receiving blanket. If you can see it. But it's for one of the twins, for my son and his wife. I've got one more to make. I don't know where the material is for it right now, but I'll find it. And these are all the... <laughs> Somebody drinks a lot of Crown Royal. But, yeah, there's all kinds. A green one. I've never seen a green one. And this is a project that I had done for my niece, Ainsley. It was a, a, a ragged rag blanket made out of my husband's jeans for her. So, yeah, I've got quite a few... Pro oh, here's the other one. Canning slowly. Lessons from Camper Van Kevin. Here's the material. Well, that looks pink there. It's actually a tangerine color with the same front for, for my other grandchild, one of the twins. Yeah, that really looks pink. It's not pink. Don't panic, Solana. It's, it's actually a real pretty tangerine color. So yeah, working on that. I don't know. Got lots to do. Sometimes I just don't have the umph to get it done. And in case you were wondering, my sewing machine is a Viking Husqvarna. And it's electronic. And I love it. It is a beast. It, it knows how to work. Anyway, I had um, this old typewriter desk. Well, somewhere. Anyway, I had this old typewriter desk that I picked up at Goodwill for $5, $10. And it just always sat around. I had never figured out what to use it for. But this handle here, let me show you, used to just pull up, you know, just pick it up. And this whole top would lay back and a typewriter would come up as a typing table. Um, no, I'm not one to ruin an antique, but I wasn't using it for anything except a dust collector. Duster. So I thought, well, I'll take it down to the high school, to the wood shop, and ask the instructor if the students could cut a hole that my sewing machine would fit so I'd have a flush area to sew on. I, it has been absolutely wonderful. I really have enjoyed this table. I can just reach right under here, figure out where I'm at, there, and turn off the sewing machine. And it, I love it. It's the perfect size. I've got some storage under there. I even kept the little pull out. So it's, it's really nice. I like it. You want some attention? Huh? Wow. Oh, beady, beady boy. Yeah. Do I have a fat cat? Oh. You a fat cat? Oh, are you a fat cat? Yeah. Hi. Okay, so that's it for now, people. I'm going to get this video edited. Say bye. And uh, get it online. I'm going to 
I'll do that and I will get um, the sheets. They're in the dryer. Flannel sheets. I'm so excited. Anyway, I'll get them in the dryer. Maybe put them on the bed out in the RV a little bit later. Yeah, try and figure out something to eat. Not a whole lot in this house. I don't want to go and I don't want to go I to shop. Really, do not like to shop. So okay, that's it for today. Catch you next time. Don't forget subscribe, like, and share. Because every time you do that, it makes it easier for somebody else to find my videos, and maybe they'll like them too. Have a great day. See ya.